So this video is not just for International Space Olympiad, you can use it for any Olympiad or any exam that you are giving. So if you are interested, please continue watching. So hello, my name is Himanshu and welcome you to my channel Astrobo Himanshu. Okay, so if we talk about the International Space Olympiad, you might agree that most of the students don't participate because of the love of the subject, but because of the massive rewards they get to see in various advertisements. Just think about it, if we talk about any Olympiad related to space science, or astronomy, most of the time they say in advertisements that the winners will get a trip to NASA or you might get a hefty or high cash amount, cash price or you might get an international trip. So most of the students that get attracted to that only and yes I was also one of them. During my, during the first time that I gave Olympia related to astronomy in my 7th grade, I never knew what astronomy was or what it meant. Uh, our school just organized, as I told my previous video also, an Olympiad related to space science that was organized by Orange Education that time, National Astronomy Olympiad. And yeah, it was the reason that the winners will get a trip to NASA. So yeah, I, I participated looking to that only. But when I started preparing for the Olympiad, I just I just told that I got love in, fall in love with astronomy and space and how the different processes in astrophysics and cosmology worked. And yeah, that all began to excite me. So, so yeah, eventually I got interest in the subject and which was responsible for me getting such a nice rank in the Olympiad. But that was my case. If we talk about many students, they just don't care about the subject. They are just greedy about getting nice rank and getting nice reward they might be getting after qualifying for the next, next level or getting a top rank in, the, in any exam. So which actually results in their downfall and they are not able to perform well because they never con concentrated on the subject, they were just concentrating on the reward they might be getting. So this might be your biggest mistake while preparing for any Olympiad. If, if, if you don't lo just love the subject, I would just recommend do just don't give it, it will just waste your time and you might be feeling de uh, demotivated and depressed at the result. Actually, the problem is not with that. Basically, most of the most of you actually are in teenage, and in teenage, we might we take actually the things very seriously, and maybe it it is not true, but it was true for my case. I actually used to take these things very seriously and just took everything on my heart if I didn't perform well in any Olympiad related to astronomy, and yeah, I used to get very depressed depressed at that time. But now, now I know that that wasn't actually. So I would just like to say that just focus on the subject. If you are good at it or if you believe that you are enjoying it, preparing for it, then just give it a go, man. And if you don't get nice results, then just don't get demotivated. These exams just don't tell your potential. As you get older, you will realize that there are more difficult and tough exams in your life. and. You have to deal with it if you don't get right results like just you also know that many actually i think two or three students might be getting the opportunity to visit nasa if you talk about the whole category or maybe less so yeah that doesn't make any sense if you don't get top rank that you are not good in astronomy or space or you just don't love the subject that's not the case just keep loving the subject and don't get demotivated these are the things that you will be facing a lot of times. Most of the times you will be facing the failures and very few times you will be facing the success. Though that's what it matters. The way you deal with failure, that's what it matters. And yeah, that's what I just wanted to say. A short message for people appearing in International Space Olympiad or any other Olympiad. So yeah, that was it. All the best. And thank you for watching this video.